everyone, my name is Laura and I work at simplyvat.com. My role at simplyvat.com is business change manager and I'm specifically working with and supporting the client management team. The upcoming changes associated with the EU e-commerce VAT package are a huge focus for my role currently and this week, week three of our EU e-commerce change series, we are covering the distance selling thresholds. If you have been selling goods across the EU, you may be familiar with the distance selling thresholds. Today, these individual thresholds are decided by each EU member state and can range between €35,000 to €100,000. Currently, businesses are required to collect VAT in the country of departure until they breach a country-specific threshold where their customers are located. After doing so, sellers would need to VAT register in this country and apply their local tax rate to each sale. From the 1st of July, however, distance selling thresholds will be abolished and replaced by a single EU-wide threshold of €10,000. Sellers that cross this threshold will still need to be VAT registered in their customer country or countries and charge the correct VAT for each. If you are a smaller business and remain below the €10,000 threshold, you will still be required to charge domestic VAT on cross-border supplies. Keep in mind that this new EU threshold only applies to EU-based businesses. For non-EU-based businesses, this threshold won't apply, but you will need to charge VAT in the country where your customers are based from the first sale. If you're an e-commerce business, the OS scheme could enable you to simplify VAT registration and reporting, allowing you to account for intra-EU sales through one quarterly electronic VAT return. If you're interested in registering for the scheme or getting more advice about how to adapt your business to the upcoming changes, get in touch with one of our team.